Vigo's weather service, delivered in partnership with AccuWeather, is one of the most popular services on the platform. Each day, hundreds of thousands of people check the weather on Vigo, and we owe them the best weather experience we can provide. So, as we do with all the modules in Vigo, we went back to see what we could do to improve it. Some enhancements were made to provide a more eye-pleasing experience, but at the core, there were changes made that make the service much more user-friendly, including leveraging our new real-time channel framework so that current conditions update when a user opens the service, and we now provide five-day forecasts without having to open a web page, which can sometimes be slow and painful. Now, let's take a look at what I've just described. We'll go into the weather service and add a couple of cities. You'll notice I've already have many in. The first new feature you will notice is the ability to add many cities in at one time. So let's go with San Jose. I'll go with Madrid. And let's say Vancouver, all for no particular reason. Uh, then I'll select my unit of measure, and I like uh, Celsius, as I am a Canadian. And then I will now notice the, uh, the second new feature that we have, which is the ability to uh, check off whether you want to see uh, day forecast, night forecast, or both. And I will say both, and then click Next. We'll go off and find the new cities, and now you'll see that we can pick off the cities and location that we want. So I want San Jose, California, as opposed to some of the other San Jose's that exist, and there seem to be many. I will then go to Madrid, Spain, and I will go to Vancouver, British Columbia, and say next. And that'll bring them in, and there we are, that quickly finished, and here we are adding them to the list. Now this is probably also a good time to remind people that uh, if they were using the weather service in versions prior to uh, Tango 9 release 3 or version 3.1.330, that they'll have to remove cities that they had and then add them back in to take advantage of the updates. Um, also, this new service is only available in version 3.1.330 and higher. So next we'll go and take a look at the results. So what city did I just add in? I think I said... Uh, San Jose was one of them. So let's go there. So right off the main screen, you can see that it's 18 degrees Celsius, uh, partly cloudy. But if we click through uh, into San Jose, you now have the, the current conditions as well as a five-day forecast. Uh, these are also new features. So you, you go into current conditions, and what you'll see is a, a graphical representation of, of what the weather looks like, as well as a great deal of detail on the current conditions. And then if you go through, you also have a new radar picture of what the weather is going to be coming forward. And if I jump back out, so as I take a look at the, uh, the day, I can go in and see that I have the daytime forecast as well as a graphical representation and all the information and the overnight uh, forecast as well. And actually, if I wanted to, I could go all the way down and check out the 15-day forecast, which will jump you out to the, uh, the web browser again and take a look at uh, the AccuWeather site and see what the 15-day forecast might be. And that pretty much covers the new weather service, and hopefully this will help you prepare as you head out.